Kevin, if this is a five, right, what are these going to be? Oh, uh, four, three, two, I guess. Okay, good. That's number one thing to work on. Okay, so every time you come back to here, we want to have a two, right? Okay. Okay, so if I put a two here because we want to have two there, it makes sense, right? Yes. What is this going to have to be? We can't go one, two, three, four, two, right? What does it have to be? Um, Try it. You know it's these notes, right? You know it's those five notes, right? Mm -hmm. And so if we want to get the two here from one, what do you have to do? Just just try it. Just focus it on only that. That doesn't get you to two, right? We didn't get the two. We got to get the two on G. There you go. Uh. You see? You see how that works? Okay, so that's, that's what you want to do, right? You want to do one, two, three, one. Okay. Yes, I'm. Okay. Good. I'm trying to figure out how to figure this out. Also, I'm. I'm just well, that's what I'm saying. You go backwards with one. That's uh, that's what we've been talking about a lot today. Is like if you have this here, what would it be there? And you're kind of going backwards, right? Okay. All right. Now, here, there's a lot of choices. You could go like this. Watch my hand. That's what you did. That's fine. It works. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just a little awkward to do. I would do this if I were you. Okay. So we're going to end up with this kind of fingering right there. You see this? You see that? You see what this is? This and this are the same. Mm -hmm. There was less that's, motion of your. That's hands. what this is. What this is going to lead into. I want you to do that alone. Just isolate this right now, mm -hmm. and play just up to here. Just your left hand with. You can play from the octave D if you. Want. focusing on just a fingering and you're reading the notes just fine isn't that great I mean that's the way you want to do it I mean you played some easier pieces and like we're trying to focus on fingering it's like because they're easy you like memorize them in a way and so it's hard to even talk about the fingerings for an easy piece well this is a much harder piece but you're, you're you understood the fingering right away so that that's a good sign you know you just have to think of it that way okay now once you have a four there, right, that's fine. There's a lot of options for the next note. It doesn't have to be three. In fact, it can't be three. Why Why can't it be three? I'm just well, let's see. If you want to be on, on a five here. No, okay. Yeah, that's right. So that's then, right. Uh, Anything works. In a situation like this, this is a five. We could do whatever here, right? Well, but what is it... it if this is a four, mm -hmm. then that looks like it's going to become a three, right? But that's so awkward, right? What's the other? That's it. You see what you just did? Yeah. You decided to use your thumb. What what you're learning with these pieces, Kevin, and these pieces, you can't speed up the learning. You got to do these pieces. Is like you're learning to use your thumbs. You just used one right there. You used one right there. And that's what you're not doing when you're figuring out the fingers. I think it's like kind of a a blessing in disguise that we're doing this piece because we can talk about fing you figuring out the fingering. Sometimes when you're playing pieces that give you all the fingerings, you don't learn about fingering. When you have a piece where you got to figure out the fingerings, you learn about fingerings a lot more. Right. So this like, is I don't actually know how to thing. figure out the fingerings. That well, that's well. a good thing. So we we haven't this. gotten to that point, but we are now with okay. this piece. So that's a good thing to do that. You know, even the pieces that have the fingerings written for you, you don't have to use those fingerings. Right. It's just suggestions. Yeah. It's, but you need to learn it in a way and consistently play it that way. That's yeah. right. You see how that works? So I want you to really think about that. So now you know how this goes, right? Yes. So if this is a one, it goes one, three, two, five, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to write them in there Thank just you. because I want you to be organized with that. Okay? All right. So the left hand spot, I want you to play the left hand all the way through. Right? Here's another situation, this one. This one, you don't want to put thumb here. Why? There's no reason to because you're going back to B and D, right? Which is the top of that. You don't want to go. Right? No. You just want to go. Right? It works just fine, right? Yeah. 
So this this one goes like one, two, three, four, because you're gonna end up on. Okay. Now here's the question, okay? This I want you to figure it out based on what we just did with all the left hand fingerings. I want you to figure out what's the best sequence for this passage here. Good. Good. Now, do you have to use two on C right there, or is there another option? Do I have to use I wouldn't use two on C. I wouldn't. That's right. Yeah. And then Okay, hold on, hold on, let me write these in. So we know this is gonna be one. This. Now, in order to, this is complicated right here. There's a lot of choices, but what's the best one do you think? Well, we want to probably have thumb back there again. That would be okay. That would be one of the choices, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something a little bit different, okay? okay. That that is a definitely a good option. I, I I want to actually go ahead and try it that way. Go one two four. Don't go one don't go one three five here. That's what I want you to do. Two four and then thumb like you said thumb on B flat. Yeah, but you see how it's a little bit awkward. It is. This is an E flat here, so you gotta know you gotta think about the notes. That's right, and then and it's really awkward because you have to have to, yeah. Okay, so that's what I did at home. That was how I learned it. I was like one, mm -hmm. five, and that. That's okay. And that. Wrong okay, with so that. show me. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some other fingerings that that in a situation like this. Okay, now you're basing using thumb there and everything and what you did there you're basing it on this being one five yes right okay so now i'm going to totally change that for you because this is an option okay yours is fine it's just cramped when you do it okay so if this were a two five i want you to play that once two five. can you do that once two five can you do that? two 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 just do it detached Or two five. Your thumb would be free to. Okay, so then now I want you to think a little bit differently. Okay, so I want you to go one three five here. Can you play that one three five? Okay, stop for a second. Okay, then I want you to use two on B flat. Okay. Stop for a second. Now use five on A for E flat, and then use one and four on F and A. One and four. Use one and four. And four. four, four. And what? Uh huh. And. Um, That's a really tricky fingering, but it's actually a lot easier. I bet it will be after I. After now, I now you get see it. the fingerings. Now so, see if you can play it through. Slowly, 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 slowly. Um, four and one. Four and one. That is tricky, and it's a lot easier. There's no. There's no. Once it, the, the fingering is tricky because you've never done that before, but once you learn that fingering, technically it's a lot easier than what you did, which is more of a logical fingering. This okay. isn't, seems like not a logical fingering, but it's all based on the B flat being a two. Yes. And so the, that's the way it fits, right? Okay. All right, so that's a new thing right there. This would be the good good thing to end on this. Gotta make sure we're stay in time. Um, oh, it's time. Yeah. This piece, the left hand here, here, not on the eighth notes, but anywhere where there's like long note, like a quarter, dot and half, dot and half, dot and half, dot and half quarter note. Dot half, corner, note, all those. It's gonna be separated. It's gonna be like this. Yes. There's no legato line.
right? And so because of that also, that's why this finger, okay? So what I want you to do this week, okay? Assignment. Whatever you do with these two pieces, I want you to total it as one third of your practice. I don't care how much you practice, whatever, two hours, one hour, whatever, a day, whatever. Mm -hmm. You're gonna practice those two. I think in your case to get to where you wanna do, you gotta practice quite a bit, but it's hard to practice a lot of hours because of the your pieces aren't very long. Mm -hmm. So, you know, some of the kids who play really long pieces, I mean, they gotta practice a long time because the pieces are long. But in your case, you wanna practice as often as possible. Let, let's put it that way. Like, you wanna have lots of 30 minute sessions. I've been having several sessions. A That's day. a good thing. So, I want you to practice these two pieces as often as possible, but, but one third of your practice combined. Okay. And I want you to spend the other two thirds on this piece, and I want you to finish it up to here yes. this week. I want you to get to the get to the level of how you played those first two and a half lines for the next two and a half lines. Okay. Okay. You can be have mistakes and whatever fingering whatever. Now you know what to fix here, so this would be a lot better. But I want you to learn up there. That's that's your that's your that's your assignment. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Just put in the first page of that. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then we'll we'll do more scales and stuff, and we'll. Okay. But that's a good start. Okay. Well, great. I think Aries next. Okay.